what benefits can it give in your life when you do a Shoko Bliss ceremony? First, I start with sharing my own experience with this. When I step into a ceremony, I'm open to surrender, I'm open to receive because the plants, they can give you something and that's very diverse. The, yeah, the intention that I have is to be open and to make myself vulnerable and surrender. And then um, I see the plants as a teacher. They have a lot of wisdom, but they also show you that you are so much more of who you are. You have such a greater potential. And in this time, I see many people that are searching for meaning, a deep connection with themselves, a deeper purpose of yeah, living something that brings fulfillment from a deeper level. So these are reasons to step into a ceremony. But another thing is, and that's very common, is that people have trauma. They tra carry trauma from their past, from their childhood, or from, um, for example, uh, bad relationships or other things that uh, blocked their hearts or that let them live more from their heads. And this is also common in this society that we learn to live from your head, to have a planning, but in reality, life is just happening by itself and life is happening for you. You don't have to fear, but yeah, fear is installed among the way. And you want to release this fear. You want to live a happy life and uh, a life where you feel free to express your soul, to be who you really are. These are reasons to step into a ceremony. Or for example, uh, when I did my second ceremony myself i was together with my younger sister and she has yeah she was heartbroken she had so much pain of breaking up with her ex-boyfriend and i said just come with me um another ceremony that i've done with my mother is that she had a lot of tears that she never cried tears because she lost her father when she was young um or she just learned from her generation to not express her tears, to not express her sadness. But it's very healthy. The emotions are healthy to express. And this is something that can, can come up in your ceremony to express all the emotions. Or there can be other reasons why you closed off your heart. And in this ceremony, it's an opportunity to open up your heart again, to get this deeper connection with who you are, with your truth, to discover that and also to start living it. And also to set another uh, expectation, a lot of people do more ceremonies than one. So with one ceremony, of course, you get what you need and you need time to implement this. But it's very much possible that your first experience is not what you're hoping for or it's uh, a bit difficult, but it can also be like the most amazing, beautiful experience what yeah, is beyond what you were hoping for. And Actually, that is very common to experience. That's why people talk about this because it's changed their lives. And it can be life-changing in many ways, in a big way or in a small way, but this is a very great tool to explore who you are, to explore yeah, your inner world and to see what you need to get new insight about what to do, about your future, about yeah, your true feelings and your truth so it helps a lot of becoming more of who you are and to start living the life that you feel you deserve maybe i have to say something about the next video yeah, yeah. i was not expecting so many words mm -hmm. um yeah i'm gonna close yeah important to know is that there are three different phases of a ceremony you have the ceremony itself but before that so the, there is also a phase like let me make a new video where i explain the three phases of the ceremony and why it's important to know